Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So glad you could join me. We're doing another meal prep. You know it, it's meal prep. It's Sunday and we need to get ready for the week. And we're gonna be doing rice this week. I know that's unusual for me because I'm a potato girl here, but I decided to switch it up. I figured everybody is getting so tired of potatoes. We're gonna switch it up and we're gonna bring some spices to the kitchen today. So I hope you stick with me and let's get in the kitchen and start prepping for our week. So when planning for my meal prep today, I actually sat down and figured out what I wanted to do and I tried to use the same ingredients in multiple areas. That way you're cutting down on your costs and you're keeping it budget friendly. So I'm using chickpeas in a couple of places and I decided I was gonna make a soup because I had all my scraps in the freezer. So before I start the video, I actually put all my scraps in my Instant Pot and I have that cooking right now, making my soup stock so that we can make a delicious Moroccan soup. So I'm just gonna get my rice cooking and I have two cups of rice and this is long grain rice and I'm just using white this time. That's what I had, I wanted to use it up. Um, and we're gonna do a lot of rice dishes this week, so that's gonna be perfect. I have four cups of water, and I'm just gonna put that on the stove top and bring it to a boil, lower it to simmer, let it cook for 15 minutes, and then just fluff it, and it should be good to go. Again, when I'm prepping, I try to see what needs to get used in the fridge, and I noticed that I had cauliflower that needed to get used. So I was thinking, hey, haven't had a curry in a while, let's make a curry with that. That's perfect because I always have red curry paste, I always usually have coconut milk. You can sub the coconut milk for soy milk or almond milk if you want, or do a little bit of half and half, which I think is what I'm going to do today if you're still on the weight loss portion and you're worried about the coconut milk being too much fat in your diet, that's okay, you can sub it out, that's not a problem. So I just tried to figure out what I have in the in the pantry and what I want to use and that's kind of how I make my meal prep around and I just think about recipes that I like or what I want to try, look at my cookbooks. So I found a great Moroccan soup which will use the chickpeas and a bunch of the other vegetables that I already had on hand. So I'm using half of this in one recipe, half of this in another recipe. So what are we making? We're gonna make a tofu scramble, Southwest style. We're going to make the curry. We're gonna have a big batch of the rice. And with the rest of the rice, I have a cheese sauce that also needs to get used up. So I'm gonna make a cheesy broccoli, 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 broccoli casserole. Sounds good. We got three great recipes that are gonna take us through basically most of the week because they're large portions. You're, they're great to freeze if you need to freeze them. So the rice is cooking and our soup stock is going. So we have to wait for that to finish cooking and get ready. So we're going to move into making our curry, which is super simple, comes together really easy. I've already started prepping some of the ingredients. So let's get into prepping the rest. So we're gonna to continue to water saute our onions and garlic. And to that, we're going to add our fresh ginger. Now, if you've been on my channel before, you know I just keep my ginger frozen in a Ziploc bag, reusable bag in the freezer. That way it stays fresh. And then I just grate it for as much as I need it. That way you always have fresh ginger, never goes bad on you last forever. Now I'm going to put in the curry powder and we're going to let that bloom. Turn down the heat a little bit. Oh, it smells delicious. And you want to kind of cook your curry powder a little bit. And curry powders do vary. So you will have to Try different ones until you find the one that you like. They're all pretty well basic, but curry powder is a blend of different spices. It's usually a base of five, if I remember correctly. Okay, 
You just want to blend that for about a minute until it's nice and fragrant. Now to this to make our curry. Curries are very forgiving on the vegetables, so I'm using peppers. I usually ask for red pepper, but I'm going to put in yellow. That's what I had in orange. Cauliflower. I'm using some sweet potatoes and some carrots this time. We're going to stir that around first. We're going to add in our coconut milk. I'm using um, the Thai coconut milk. And then I'm also going to add in equal parts of soy milk to kind of cut down the fat. You could use a reduced fat coconut milk. That would be great in here and cut it down with soy milk or almond milk. Um, I just happen to have this coconut milk in my cupboards and again I'm just trying to use what I have trying to be budget friendly and I was just trying to use up what I had in my cupboards and my fridge to make my meals if I didn't have the coconut milk I would have just used soy milk to give that a stir. We're also going to add in about two tablespoons of our curry paste. Give that a good stir in. I'm going to give that a good simmer. So we're just going to bring that up to a simmer and let that Simmer at a low boil until the vegetables are tender. So now we're going to stir in our slurry, which is just a tablespoon of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. And that's going to thicken up our sauce. Give that a good stir. You want to cook that through for a minute or two. It's just a little bit of maple syrup, some fresh lime juice, and then you can add some fresh spinach. And I'm actually using frozen that I froze. And again, I'm just using up what I had. If you have fresh spinach, use fresh spinach. I didn't have it, so I happened to freeze some of my spinach. And that's what I'm going to use. Again, use what you have in your pantry, guys. Keep everything budget friendly. You don't have to go exactly as recipes tell you. Use what you have. It's going to wilt down anyway. You just want the greens and the nutrients. Look how delicious that looks. Oh, I can't wait to put some of that over our rice. And there you go. Dinner is served. Hey, don't forget, if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and scooch on over and hit that little bell icon so you're always notified every time one of my videos goes up. You don't want to miss these great recipes, what I eat in a day, grocery hauls, everything vegan, starch solution friendly, oil free, and mostly gluten free.
just let those bloom for a minute or two. Now we're just going to grate in our tofu. I'm using firm tofu and I just patted it dry. Don't really have to press it or anything. I like to crumble it. You could chop it, whatever you want. I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic. Smells so good right now. Pepper. and some nutritional yeast. And again, you can keep adding a little bit of water just to get everything to meld together. And I find when you add a little bit of water, it gives it that more of a scrambled egg texture. And I totally forgot about putting in the Swiss char. I have a beautiful rainbow Swiss char that I wanted to add to my tofu scramble to bulk up all the veggies. You know me, I'm always forgetting something. I'm just going to add that and let it wilt down and that'll literally just take a minute or two with the hot tofu scramble. Extra protein, extra vitamins. So we're just going to start with some onion and some celery. We have our delicious soup stock. Look how great that looks. And that's just from scraps, guys. And it's flavorful and delicious. So I'm just going to actually, my celery is pretty tender. Out of the way. I'm actually just going to kind of cut it in half. That'll give us bite-sized pieces. And literally, I'm just going to cut that into I like to measure stuff out, have it all ready. I'm just going to throw it all in this container right here. Calls for a medium onion. Of course, this is going to go into my bag in the freezer. Put that aside for now. I can make some more stock. Now that fall is coming, we'll be making a lot more soups. We're also going to need about one and a half cups of 
a tomato chopped, and this will probably be enough. I'm just going to take the core out. So we have our spice pan ready, we have our lentils, and our chickpeas are all cooked. We're all set to start making our soup. All right, so to get our soup started, we're just gonna put some water in our pot, because we don't use oil, and we're just gonna add our onions and celery, and we're gonna let those water saute for about five minutes. We want them to soften. And this soup is super simple. We're just going to dump everything, let it cook for about 45 minutes, and we're ready to eat. So first of all, we're just gonna saute our onions and our celery for about five minutes. Our, our onions and our celery have softened, so we're going to start adding everything else in. Our lentils, our spices, our bay leaf, our tomato, and then our broth. Smells so good. And we're gonna add in our chickpeas. And we just need about that much. I'm gonna save a few for my salads. We're just gonna bring this up to a boil and then just let this simmer for about 45 minutes. And we'll finish it up at the end. So the soup's almost done. I'm just going to add a little bit of, you can put orzo in there, you could add some rice. I'm just going to add a couple little shells and I'm not going to add a lot, just enough just to fuck it up a little bit. You could also add a little tomato paste if you want. I like keeping it a nice clear broth, but the smells with the cinnamon and everything is just so lovely. We're just going to let that finish cooking with the noodles. The noodles will Again, they're just little mini shells that only take a few seconds. They don't take that long. And then to finish off the soup, we're going to add a little bit of cilantro and some fresh lemon juice. It's gonna add a nice brightness to it. And of course, always adjust your taste. Check it to see if you'd like to add a little extra salt or pepper. I'm probably going to add a little bit of pepper to this, but I like my pepper. Give it about another five minutes. And let that let either your orzo or your rice noodles, whatever it is. Let them finish cooking and your soup is ready. So we have a nice batch of healthy, high protein soup for the week. It's going to keep you going, not weigh you down. So here's our meal prep. And this is our curried vegetables. We have our tofu scramble, our Southwest with the Swiss char in it. Our soup is all done. It just needs a good stir and I added um, some cilantro to that. And then we have our big batch of white rice that we're going to use with our curry. And then I'm also going to take my cheese sauce that I have left over from last week's prep. I'm gonna mix that in there with some um, rice cauliflower and some broccoli and make a casserole halfway through the week. 
So we are all set for this part of our meal prep. And of course, guys, I always have veggies and stuff chopped up. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.